Holy hell. <laughs> We're receiving, Big Sky. Status Black confirmed. Welcome back. You join me just as the team drops into Central Australia to rescue our COVID operative before Exile can find and kill him. The difficulty of these missions always comes down to the relay placement. It can either be exceedingly close or incredibly far apart. So it's going to have to wait and see what it is. Exalt forces spooked one of our field operatives who was attempting to recover new intelligence by hacking an Exalt Com relay. Strike One is going in to ensure the operative is covered while decrypting the data from the remaining relays. We have to keep that operative alive if we're going to recover the remaining intel. We have a new objective. Okay, those are going to be pretty easy to hit. Heading to that location. Okay, pop a scan out and see what the operative's going to be walking into first. Ultimately, my objective on these missions is to not fight at all if I can possibly avoid it. I really have no patience for Exalt. They're a fun distraction initially, but they get old really fast. Basically, my approach to these is sort of analogous to a magician's act in a way. It's a puff of smoke, a flash of light, and a bunch of people saying, What the fuck happened there? So it's smoke grenades for cover, flashbangs just in case, and other than that, running. Okay, so... You can't run it and gun that, which is a bugger. So if I could put you there, so you're one tile off. So I could put you about there and not activate. That would be ideal, so I could probably scan that area for the best effect. And in an urgent news flash, the increased battle scanner range was deemed as awesome. In fact, it would probably be best to place it there and get good old round scan. Incoming signal from battle scanner. We finally have a visual confirmation of Exalt's operatives in the field, and from the looks of them, Exalt is working quickly to integrate alien genetic material into their troops. Until we know the extent of their capabilities, I would advise extreme caution. The primary capability is to be an asshole in every situation. Well, setting there's obviously not going to be an option. Could move there. Should hopefully be able to stand there and block line of sight. There are times I wish I brought snipers on these missions. But their lack of mobility just makes it impractical. Ah, there are other guys in there. A uh, sniper and an operative by the looks, yeah. That's actually a pod rather than a lone trooper. That should be safe, even if I activate, so come around that way, unless of course there's something there. I'm come on, around the Commander. back way. Tuck you in there. Next turn, you can blue move, hit the transmitter, hopefully on that side. Heavy won't be able to shoot. The operative would be able to grenade, but hopefully it'll be on that side of the cover by then and out of range. Don't want to move everybody else up too far. Got it. Watching for activity. But I will be within reaction range if possible. Heading to that location. Depends how much they move and teleport. And climb back up to where they were. Okay. Okay, it sounds like a 
like exile left. But obviously there's gotta be exile on this mission. Now that I've got contact left is what I should be saying. Right, there you are. Now you can't quite get to that side. I think that's still a better option than leaving you possibly exposed through there, depending on how they were likely to run. So what is your range? I'm on the move. Got something over here. Commander, our operative is in position near a comm relay. We just need to activate it to retrieve the missing data. Excellent. You've decrypted a piece of the data. And it looks like Exalt communications were temporarily disrupted by the hack. Now we just need to find the remaining relays. There's one, in, one useful thing to, um, to note on the off chance you haven't noticed before. This Exalt com hack thing, that's one of two debuffs they actually get. This is one that lasts for one turn. It actually prevents heavies from firing rockets. The one they get for the rest of the turn is the actual, um, what do you call it, disabling shot penalty. So that's the one that actually forces them to reload. This means they can't fire rockets as well. But the next turn he'd be able to fire a rocket, so you still have to run the hell, run like hell to get away from them. Also, really interesting note, when I was pissing about with Mind Control in a different game, I found out that Exile Heavies actually have grenades as well. So yeah, you don't want to be too, um, too cavalier about ignoring the bastards. So yeah, that should be safe enough. What's your movement range? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Eleven. You might just be able to blue move that. Is it worth it? Well, actually, yeah. Any other pod on the pod on the map would be inactive because of this com hack, so that should be all right. I'm on it, Commander. Поехали. Just to be extra safe. Move and pop smoke. Not dead smoke, but should do it do the job for the short term. That's affirmative. Got it covered. Affirmative. I feel, Commander. Going there now. So I'm saying ready to react. Although I heard contact to the left now that I remember, I probably shouldn't have moved it. No. We've got new contacts inbound on Strike One's position, Commander. Are they going to Overwatch? Yes. But he's out of visual range, so that should be alright. Mm. As long as he doesn't get squad side on me, that should be good. Now, are you in blue range? Yes, you are. Well done. Moving. Get your ass over there and hack those idiots so we can leave. That's it, Commander. We've decrypted the last of the data. Now we just need to get our operative to the evac point. Objectives updated. I'm on it, Commander. Get you out of here. Range on his smoke. Really should have put the operative in one more tile so he didn't have visibility around the corner. It's a bit silly. Then again, they are disabled for this turn, so it probably doesn't matter as much. Affirmative. Make sure this corner's clear. Moving to Overwatch. Let's make the scout as well to be 100% safe. And again, she really should have pulled her back so as not to get visibility. I have a yeah, you thought there was contact me? left. Commander, we've got additional exalt forces moving on the AO. No. Oh. I missed the target. Eh, don't beat yourself up about it, mate. These are the only enemies in the game I don't give a shit about killing. Damn it! 
enemy is still alive. So, who's in range there? Uh, pretty much everyone. So I'm going to have to pull at least two overwatches. Doing it through the smoke seems like the most sensible way to try. Got it. So if you pull back diagonally, you'll just break line of sight on that medic anyway. Okay. Not trigger the overwatch. And you are out. Commander, the operative has safely reached the extraction point with the recovered data. We can either stick around and eliminate any remaining hostiles, nope. or move to the evac point and return to HQ. Objective updated. Mouse over one of the uh, contact icon things. What's my ability of a medic? Have I written that down? Oh, I've got elite operatives and exalt heavies. Yeah, I doubt they'd be able to reach that. Medic would be able to reach that with a dash if I assume he's the same mobility as an operative. Heavy definitely wouldn't. I come to think of it, Zang's himself. You can just run around there. Up the pace. Are you dick? I forgot that I actually didn't run that particular overwatch. Broke my side on it. That was a bit silly. Has been At least he only took armor damage. He's not hurt. That's all that matters. Not quite the amount of damage I was hoping you'd do. Gotta, gotta be honest. That's affirmative. That's a bit more like it. The thing is, they're still inside. disabled. It's a touch less threatening being flanked by disabled people. Uh, when I say that, uh, you know what I mean. Fuck it, I'm just going to tweak the last leak with the hashtag, is it okay? And whilst I do have line of sight on a couple of people, apparently there's been a bug where if you shoot whilst you're standing here, sometimes you can get left behind in the extraction, so I'd just as soon not risk that. Ah, screw you, XCOM. I did that mission brilliantly. So, did that even take 10 minutes? This is another one that's going to have to be tacked onto the start of it different episode, I think. I'm certainly impressed with the results so far, especially considering the conditions down ah, there. Ah, you got a promotion as well. Well done. Excel base is not in China. <laughs> no. I need the money, but I need the alloys more. Thanks to the repair mechanic not actually telling you when things get damaged, I don't even know how much they're going to cost to repair. I may even have to build a whole bunch of spares. your last cannon. I'd be slightly less useless. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. So, doing this mission with a mix of ballistics and lasers. Quite the throwback to the old days. It's like the Quartermaster was in a retro mood. If any of my pilots shoot down a UFO, the kill Touching marker down. on the hull is probably going to end up being pixel art. The next deployment site is in the UK. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Alien abduction in progress. Site is clear of civilians. 
That sort of implies that the alien production has finished and succeeded. Now, depending on the spawn, this could be quite an easy map or quite a tricky one. It's very narrow and line of sight can get rather tricky. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike 1 is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike 1 is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Oh, bollocks, I move. forgot to bring a battle scanner. Oh well, I've got a rookie. They're much the same. They don't really do any damage and tend to expire after two turns. Moving out. Now, will this be the mission where mutons finally show up? Sort of hope not. I want Narc Thrower for them. It's always best to capture new aliens on your first encounter if you can. Roger. Tracking. The other reason I hope not is because, you know, I've still got a mix of ballistic weapons at the moment. Sectoids? It can't be just sectoids. Surely it can't be just sectoids. Get it done. Get ready. Uh, stay, man. Really, no good place to start a sniper in this. Uh, boat's kind of tempting, but that's two major activation angles I'm going to avoid. Since you frankly be crap. Swing around here, I think. I hope there's no pods right there. Roger. Scanning. Heading out. Rook up front. On Overwatch. Dashed over there. Fairly low chance of another pod being around there, especially on a moderate spread out. You usually spread out pretty far. They do sometimes cluster, but if I dash over there, it should be blocked from line of sight and let me move up for a grenade next turn. Time to motor. Yeah, they can move down there, but it. Almost certainly have to be a dash to get anywhere they could engage from. If they could see her at all. Where do I want to put you? It's a big question. There's not many good places left. By not many, I mean none at all. With thin man mobility, I doubt you could be flanked from there. I'd have to actually get to there. Good copy. Moving on target. A real bastard of a position to start in this one. Oh, speaking of a real bastard. So I've got a steady rocketeer sitting there. Oh, good hit, Rook. Now don't die in reprisal. Oh no, no, no! Please, no! Are you shot better than my infantry? <gasps> Their arm start, aim starting to get up. You stay clustered, that'd be lovely. Okay, we can't afford that shit. 
stop doing that. I'm trying to turn the bloody camera. Do have heat rockets, so I'm hoping this will do a decent chunk of damage. Then you are a Lance Corporal, so I should probably just be hoping you get close to the target. Not bad. In fact, Dahlia, I would go so far as to say that was completely acceptable. So did that we kill two of the Seekers and did it kill the drone? I think it did. The drone was forward, wasn't it? Gave me disappointment in return. Okay, we take that cover. And some asshole blew the wall up. Who keeps doing these things? Ballistic, so chances are it won't actually kill the bastard. That should be a flank. Heading there now. Good shot. X-ray down. Uh, do I turn that down? I really can't, can I? Will damage reduction save it? No. <laughs> Flash both of them if I could kill him. Aye, aye, Commander. Which it turns out I can. So I need what about three more tiles, I'd say. Yeah, I'll both of them half cover. Moving to position. Equally shite. Okay, now they're only moderately dangerous instead of completely lethal. They're falling back. Take your fire over here. Ah, thin men that miss. I've missed that. Do please actually kill him. Well done. X-ray down. Heading there now. now. You can move up and kill the sector. Hopefully. Well done. He's down. Alright. Aye, aye. Move there and overwatch. Thankfully, not actually draw another pod. Man up and get back out there. I'm on it, Commander. Reload Reloading. you and you. Okay, now the sector pod somewhere. Meld in there. Mm. 
because it's a shame I don't have any battle scares, so check it out. Tabit's got go. a promotion, so technically she's not a rookie anymore, so I can't use Locked her as a battle scanner. Should give yourself a bit of med kitting. Pretty much down to emergencies now. Really should have given him two sets of kids. Although that said, that flashbang was pretty damn handy. Aye, aye, Commander. Already there. Ten four. We can get directional cue on any sounds. <laughs> Thank you. Very kind. Quiet. Did you hear something? Is, is it inside the building or just outside the front? Sometimes you get really long range directional cues and it kind of messes with you. On my way. Visual on the goods. Ten four. Slightly better cover for further up cover at least. Rolling out. Before I start investigating properly. That is good cover for someone, but not for the sniper. Got it, yeah, moving. The infantry there, I think. Okay, must be outside. Let's do this. Possibly on the roof. If that meld lasts for one more turn, I might just be able to grab it. It'll almost certainly expire this turn. Heading out. Since they were vaguely angled that way, I might put you around here. If they either patrol around there, or they activate and scramble around there, I may get a flank shot. Ah, uh, one tile short. Oh well. Hypothetically, if I could blow that box up, I might actually be able to get there with the infantry, but certainly not worth blowing up. Um, wasting a grenade, potentially blowing up an explosive piece of cover that I'm seeing, actually. Okay. Or does that possibly have a turn left? I don't think it does. No, no, I'm pretty sure that's the now or never pulse. Copy that. Scanning. It's good cover anyway. Well, full cover at least. Moving they do out. tend to fall apart a bit quickly. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on the move. Okay, that's basically the same direction. I was going to say, maybe they're a static pod, but that sort of says no. Seriously? No one can get there? Could that be my contact there? It looks like a conspicuous gap in my movement radius. Overwatch, aye aye. Might line up on the assumption that it is. Did I activate it on the wall? Probably. 
I've got my eyes on. Might not on the box, I though. Commander. I feel Commander. I don't know. Just in case they scurry down there. Okay. Moving out. Affirmative. Covering now. And you're on exactly the wrong side. Well, it was a reasonable place to put you based on the information I had. Contact. And yes, it was contact. Good shot. See you in hell. Kill confirmed. Shot failed to connect. Before I stop out there, I should probably pop the door and make sure there's not a second bot just sitting there. Visual on the goods. Nope, but there is a sector that I could flank. Uh, missing by one turn. Or oh, one tile, rather. There's a sector in his cover I could blow up, though. Eat this. Someone else could get a lovely exposure shot on him. Is there anyone in particular who needs kills? Uh, probably be out of range and possibly even angle. That might That's be good though. Well, good for sure on that one. Copy that. That can be a medic kill. <laughs> See, ballistics still work even now. Then are all bad. They're just mostly really, really bad. I once forgot to arm a Master Sergeant in a late game terror mission and she went in with ballistics and Kevlar and managed to get at least one kill. Good shot. We nailed it, Commander. Mission accomplished. Now he's having more of my laser weapons didn't get damaged by taking a couple of those shots. If all our missions oh, go good. as well as this no, one, one actually did. took health damage. The aliens don't I'm stand astonished. a chance. That's ten bucks each. That's three times, a bit more than three times market value. And I really do need the money. That'll actually let me build my foundry now. Okay, so once my repair base finished and I managed to fix all my other weapons, I can finally go back to using lasers again. That's not what that says. So, how horrifically long and expensive a repair is going to be? Oh, comparatively cheap, actually. I'm surprised. Ah, six days. There's the catch. Incoming transmission. You've done an admirable job in combating the alien threat over the course of this past month, Commander. Yeah, not the best. However, we still believe there is room for improvement in your efforts. Just a bit of improvement, yeah. We but hey, we didn't lose touch, Mexico. Commander. It's a radar, and I didn't get the analysis done on the radar yet. Takes light damage, I'll have to go aggressive Enemy with someone else. I think. Locked. Disengaging. What happens if it takes almost no damage? Contact well, then I won't be in the least bit surprised. We have eyes on the bandit. 
Come on. Actually, get the job done for once. Useless dicks. Now I've only got stingrays. Hell, I hate you people so much. Bangs out. I was actually planning to make six laps before you cost me all my satellites. Thank you! Actually shot something down! Seriously, as soon as experimental warfare is done, I'm doing the thing on radar. Ooh, and it's the urban block shoot down at that. This can be tricky. Strike one. Prepare for landing. We're heading to South Africa for this one. And we need to get down there fast. The downed UFO is in a densely populated urban area. We'll need to move in and secure the scene before people start panicking. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll be back sometime soon to stage a landing on a building which I'm certain is entirely structurally sound.